most of the equipment that uh, the students work on has been donated by the uh, vending industry. It's in their best interest since this is the only program in the United States that teaches students how to work on vending machines that uh, they know how to work on uh, the latest equipment. This machine actually grinds the coffee beans, puts the coffee into a brewer, fresh brews the coffee, adds your cream and sugar and other commodities that you like, and when it's all done, it throws the coffee grinds in the trash can. All the machines nowadays are uh, computer run, to, uh, programming uh, the computer to set it up. Uh, this machine will uh, make 15 different selections in two different sizes. Most, most of the students uh, that uh, have come out of the program uh, go right into uh, work in the industry. Since this is the only program in the United States, I'm really blessed because I've got more jobs and I've got students. Uh, the industry is always in need of uh, young folks and uh, one of the nice things about this is that it doesn't have to be employment in the Philadelphia area. You can go anywhere in the United States and take the skills that you learn here and work on exactly the same equipment. Uh, the vending program, like all the CTE programs in the district, is competency-based. And pretty much what that means is able to do. Uh, students are required to uh, show that they can actually do the work that's required in the industry. Uh, I demonstrate what they need to know. Uh, they take notes, ask questions, and then they're dispatched to uh, actually do the job, whether it's service a machine, uh, replace components in the machine, or troubleshoot the machine. It's more to what you just see. Like, the average person, they just see a vending machine, but it's much more than that. It's like, like inside a vending machine, it's different types of systems, like momentary, that's with like uh, a validator, that's where the bills go, uh, coin mix, like it's some complex things like in a vending machine that most people wouldn't know. It's a great opportunity. Like, it's, I don't think anyone should pass this opportunity up. Like a lot of people say vending uh, repair is not like, it, it's not the cool thing, but in the long run it, it pays off. Like if you work hard in this shop, like is. It's a good career to get into. Uh, the thing that's going to make you successful is your willingness to work and your willingness to learn. Uh, I run my shop in school as closely as I can to the way I ran a maintenance shop for a vending company. I expect uh, students to show proper work ethic, uh, be willing to try. Obviously, you're not going to get everything right the first time you do it. But as long as you're trying, you're going to be successful. Uh, the program will offer you as much as you're willing to work and earn. Because I thought it was going to be fun, and it's going to be a lot harder than what you see. I thought it was going to be easy, but it's really not. Vending machine, like taking apart, putting the stuff back together. They, people, say it's, people say it's easy, but it's really not. You got to... You follow the rules, you gotta participate, you gotta do a lot of stuff to everything. And it's not really, it's really hard in the long run, but it gets like easy after the stuff that you know. For a lot of years, uh, soda machines have had a problem that if uh, you drop a soda, when you open it, it sprays all over you. So what they've done is they've made it so that we don't drop them anymore. We actually go get them. And you get your product, nothing's been shaken.